Hamim, would you like to share? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, so um, my journey of coming to US is really interesting. So my parents were on an employment visa in 96 and I was born here. But they took me back to Pakistan. That's where I have been living for the past 18 years. So uh, right after high school, I decided to come back to US to pursue my higher education because I really wanted to make use of my citizenship. And I was like, let me, let me make use of that. So I came all by myself in 2015. I started working in Subway. Uh, it, was, it was very difficult because I was all pampered back home. I never did anything by myself. And just adapting myself to a new situation was very interesting. And uh, I used to work 35 hours a week being a full-time student. And I opted for economics as my undergraduate major. Um, the entire journey has been very difficult because my parents uh, didn't get a visa to US while I was doing my undergrad. So I didn't see my family for like straight three years because I used to work during summers. Uh, I was taking care of myself financially and was not feasible for me to pay thousand dollars to get to see my family because the ticket was really expensive. Uh, my parents couldn't attend my graduation uh, because they didn't get a visa. So I was all by myself because I have no family in US. I've been living in a private dorm off campus. Uh, so that has been my undergraduate. And right after, so being going to, going to law school and pursuing a legal career has always been my dream. Uh, and I have also the video that I issued to Steve for the scholarship thing. It, actually defines all the reasons as to why I always wanted to pursue a legal profession. But I think somewhere uh, my priorities kind of changed because I wanted to get some financial stability. So right after graduation, I looked for a job because initially my plan was to go straight to a law school after graduation. But then I realized in my senior year that it's not possible because going from one school and then going on, like right away going to and other school for four years, I knew that I'm going to bombard my family with a lot of financial burden and I didn't want to do that. So I started looking for jobs and that's what I'm doing. And this COVID happened, uh, have, I haven't been getting jobs and my track of actually preparing for LSAT has been a little bit off track uh, because a lot of people suggested me that I should take tuitions, um, uh, Princeton Review, Kaplan, People gave me a lot of suggestions. A lot of people said, leave law school, you know? You have an economics degree, do, do MBA, go for a shorter route. People have been saying all kinds of things, but I, I know that um, I should be using this time, definitely get, get some sort of job, but also productively prepare for LSAT. And that's why I'm here, just to look out for resources as to how I can, you know, get back on track again and probably hopefully pursue law school next year and yeah that that's my story hamim would you like to share yeah i would just like to share that during the past few months i have realized that at times you plan so much but nothing goes according to your plan uh, and it's just especially when you're amongst people the people around you what they have planned they're doing it so they're going to med school, they're going to law school, but you are just kind of in a stagnant position. And especially in a position like this, when I'm all by myself, my family is overseas. Like my mother, usually being a supportive mother, she usually tells me that I can still give up and just come back, you know, but I just don't want to because I came here to pursue my dream of being in a legal career in the long run. So it's just, I'm in a paradox. Uh, I'm looking for jobs because I want some sort of financial stability, but at the same time, I really want to be intact with my process of going to a law school. I really don't want to leave that uh, regardless of whatever, whoever says whatever. And as I mentioned earlier, people are saying a lot of things to me. They give you opinions. It's good to hear. It's good to, you know, value people's opinions, but at the end of the day, it's very hard and it's very important to stick to what you want to do. So uh, it's, it, it has been a pleasure to be here and listen to so many stories of people coming from different walks of life. And I would like to thank Steve for giving me the opportunity to kind of just explain.
express myself because it's very therapeutic, especially given the situation. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.